Welcome to the episode of Pick and Pop. We talk about the intriguing topics in sports and pop culture. It's your boy MJ, and today we got Jules back again. Hey, everybody. And we got John F. Thomas. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Woo! Lego. In another episode of Man vs. Wild, apparently a snake teacher left his bag of snakes while he was doing a presentation, and a burglar stole them, not realizing what was in the bag. Brian Gundy teaches about snakes for a living. He gave a presentation at a library in San Jose yesterday when he carried the reptiles to a nearby parking garage. He says he set down a duffel bag with four snakes and a lizard inside just for a minute. When he went to pick it up again, it was gone. Oh, okay. I just want to know, like, where... Where did you go? Like, like I'm just, I'm going to set this down real quick. Go use the bathroom. Well, and like, is that a safe way to transport reptiles? <laughs> like, I feel like that's animal cruelty. I mean, I just love how he's treating it like it's a piece of luggage. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to like, oh, I'm, I'm just leave my backpack down real quick. You know, it's not going to go anywhere. No one's going to actually steal it. There aren't like actual real wild animals in the bag. <laughs> it's not dangerous or anything. Like, no kids are going to walk by and get strangled or bitten. You so obviously these people that took this um, bag from me that were filled that was filled with these animals I just, I just have so many questions who is this dude <laughs> I just love how he starts off the interview with a snake wrapped around his neck like it's a scarf <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I really hope that this snake strangles him during the interview just because he just he doesn't seem bright at all already and he's wearing a snake he just seems very unprofessional. That looks like authentic Versace, though. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe, Subscribe to, to Matthew, Matthew Jordan, Jordan Presents. People that took this um, bag from me that were filled, that was filled with these animals probably doesn't know the first thing about taking care of snakes and lizards. Bro, you don't know the first thing about taking care of snakes and lizards. Wow. My dude, you just leave it on the side of the road? <laughs> you, 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 you're supposed to be the expert. You got nothing to say, my dude, uh, nothing. Wow. And so my biggest concern is for the safety and well-being of the animals. You should have thought about that before you <laughs> left them on the side of the road, bro. Wait, is that all he's concerned about? What if they get out? Like, hello, there's people, children. He says he's concerned about the safety of the snakes, but he has them in a duffel bag. And I also love the newscaster's reaction to him saying this. And so my biggest concern is for the safety and well-being of the animals. <laughs> Okay. Next. Uh. <laughs> Everybody's calling bull. Right? Like, like, like news guys are supposed to keep it just like real low key, real subtle. They're not really supposed to have opinions. They're just supposed to report the news. They're like, uh, all right. Okay, bro. Uh, okay. Okay. Tonight, three snakes have been recovered after someone came uh, to a pet store, a pet smart store, saying that they found them in a dumpster. I want to know the thief's reaction when he realized that there were snakes in the bag. Yeah. All right. Because to me, like, that's burglary 101. Like, if you're a burglar, the first thing you want to do, what's inside the bag? What if it's not something you actually want to steal? Especially when you pick it up and, like, how much does that bag weigh? Like, how much does a snake weigh? Yeah. Plus a lizard. That's a big lizard, too. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and also the way that snakes move is very unique. Like the muscle structure, like you can feel something is moving inside of that bag. Like, like how, how did you like get that far without realizing it? This is just a dumb day in San Jose. <laughs> and for those of you who like to travel Delta Airlines, you might want to rethink that next time you're booking your next trip. Now, I know the protocol of, of flight attendants. It's a bizarre incident. A woman on board a Delta flight headed to Atlanta Saturday morning had no ticket and no boarding pass. Well, you got past security, all, and you know how tight and packed down security and stuff is. Is she like, is she off the grid or is she like <laughs> former CIA or something? Yeah. That's impressive, you know, to get past all that, get on the plane and don't nobody know how you got there. Orlando police have identified her as Sylvia Richter. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, man. Hey, okay, that got me because I, I could have sworn it was a white woman. Was, that's even more impressive that she's black. I'm, I'm impressed. <laughs> I am impressed. Because they be locking down, boy. You, no, 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 you need to step to the side. Orlando police say Richter was eventually escorted off the plane. She went down the stairs to a shuttle and apparently left the airport. She was not arrested. She, she was not arrested? arrested? Oh, my God, <laughs> what? man. What is going on here? She is, she's a bad woman. She, <laughs> she snuck on a plane, snuck through security, and she left without being arrested. My top priority at Orlando International Airport is the safety of the traveling public. No, it's not. 
No, it's not. You weren't, and you, and, and you weren't even I there. Like, like, how would you know what's going on? You're not even there. So how would you know what went down? <laughs> oh, man. All hell is going to break loose. She walk in on the scene. One woman describing to local station WFTV, the woman refused to get up from her seat. And when asked for her boarding pass, she claimed to have thrown it away. She might have gotten away with it, too. But the seat she chose had already been sold to someone else, who alerted a flight attendant someone was sitting in their seat. See, that's one thing, too. Hold on. If you're going to do something sneaky like this, for rule number one, if you get on a flight, you're doing something like this, go to the bathroom. Go straight to the lavatory, okay? Then hide there long enough to see where the empty seat is and just sit down real quick. Yep. yep. And don't cause a scene. And then also, if someone says you're in their seat, get out the seat because it's not your seat. <laughs> exactly. Be smart about it at least. You know, like when you go to the movie theater oh. and like you sneak into like multiple theaters, like what oh. if she was getting off of a flight? And like, you know, like that area, it's like a gray area. Like you can go into yeah. another flight. A passenger telling ABC News when asked for an ID, the woman showed the crew a selfie on her phone. <laughs> wow. Like, how did you think that was going to work out? You thought when someone asked you to produce ID that if you show a picture of yourself, that that, that would fly, that that would work? Like, oh, no, that's just me posing in the bathroom. Like, okay, this, this is me. Yeah, which selfie was it? <laughs> oh, yeah, I want to know. It was like, so bad. <laughs> I, just, I just robbed a bank. <laughs> like, the Major League Baseball playoffs are here. And with that comes celebrations. But nothing quite like Nick Turturro's celebration after the Yankees swept the Twins. Didi! Yes! Always all reliable! Didi Gregorius! Keep him on the team! I love this guy. Oh, I want him to be in my family. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> oh, maybe, baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Exclamation point. Oh. Oh, yes, he's a cheerleader. Let's go. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby, yeah. Wait, Wait, what is he holding? What is that? So, so just for context, the Yankees swept the Twins. That's why he has a broom it's and a dust broom. Band, to symbolize <laughs> the sweep. Okay. Wow, that's yes. cool. That's so He poetic. came prepared. Should check out his uh, broom handle skills. Break it out! Break it out! Break what I tell you! Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? The Yankees are your daddy! <laughs> <laughs> Way to get somebody to clean the house. Yes, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> the oh, Yankees yeah. are your Strip daddy! Tease. Yeah! Yes! H-Town, we're coming. I'm coming. We're not fooling around this year. Okay. That would be the, that would be the <laughs> point where I would disown him. I'm like, yeah, nah, I don't even, I don't know this dude anymore. The Yankees are your daddy. The Yankees are your daddy. I thought he was going to uh, rip his shirt like Hulk Hogan. Me but too. I, but, I was ready for it. But I think he failed. He was like, no, I can't do I that. So I can <laughs> take my shirt off instead. <laughs> well, at least now you have a cleaner house, Nick. Congrats. Now it's time for the viral victory of the week. Now we all have different types of reality shows in America. We have The Voice, we have The Masked Singer, but we have nothing like this show in the Philippines where contestants attempted to see how long they could go without blinking. <laughs> My man right there, he was doing the Philippine shake right there. He said, uh, uh, let me hit you one time with the no blink. He's so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, just has nice skin. Like, okay. and his eyebrows are just on point. Hey, this is why I pick and pot. We have a diverse panel here because everyone notices different things. Because you know that's not where I was going. I, man, his eyes look red as. Almost one hour and sixteen minutes. What? Uh, like, like, is he crying? Like th th oh, th no. this feels like this feels like I'm watching like one of those emotional scenes in like one of those Oscar-nominated movies where it's like, no, oh, please one don't. Hour and 16 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Cause you know, people say acting is all in the eyes, just like. Yeah, <sighs> it's like a novella. Oh, please. I love you, Katie, I love you. I mean, I just wanna, why? Why is this a competition? <laughs> to not blink for an hour and. Like, what did he win for this? Cause that's torture. Oh my goodness, look at this. This, oh. this is this is riveting television. Oh, wow. Wow. Dude, he's hurting, oh, look. And we're just not blinking watching him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. The tears are forming at the, the bottom of his this eyes. Is, this is like a real sport. All right, so here comes the finale. Here is the finale. Oh, yeah. Like, what do you do for your eyes after that? It's a long he just, time. He just starts bleeding. <laughs> 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 his <laughs> eyes fall out. He might. He might. <laughs> 
Like that's intense. So, homie looks high as hell. <laughs> I mean, he's he, like. He, Hey, yo, so, so, so just, you know, you won $60,000. Oh, good. Oh, okay. She, she was like, oh, okay, it's worth it. Then. Is it worth it? I for, don't for know. For lifelong eye damage. <laughs> and, I, and I love how he's drinking water. Like, this is like a real sport. Like, he's going, oh, my God, I'm so thirsty because I had to keep my eyes open for an hour and 17 minutes. I was uh, so thirsty. I'm so dehydrated. <laughs> okay, if, we, if we're doing random competitions like this, I, I, maybe I broke the Guinness World Record of not paying my student loans. Ah! Let's, somebody check. We out here. We out here. <laughs> Thanks for watching another episode of Pick and Pop. Make sure to share, like, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. Till next time. Woo! <laughs> <laughs>